been off work for a week and this arrived whilst I was away and I thought I've not ordered a chair and it's probably not a chair hence why it's on this channel I think it is a vacuum cleaner I'm fairly sure what it is although I'm not entirely sure why it's been packed like this so the scissors are ready we're going to get this open purely so I can get rid of the packaging and we'll see what it is what it needs and give it a bit of a go Happy six o'clock, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, I think this is another one from a very good customer of mine, sort of chap that buys stuff on eBay and just tells me it's arriving, which is fine. I don't mind that too much. All the excitement of opening stuff with none of the hassle of actually owning it. Oh, it's been wrapped up fairly well. Cannot deny that. It's Pallet wrap everywhere, which. Ah, come on. These scissors are terrible weak because they're not that sharp. And. Hopefully. I think I know what it is. I say I think I know because the only thing that I'm expecting I didn't think was quite this small. But it probably is. It's hard to explain. Are you right? Oh, hello. That's that out the way. Where do we start? Oh, let's just cut stuff until something happens. Don't make that your life motto though, you'll have a bad time. Ah, snippity snip snip snip. Oh wow. It is what I thought it was. The question remains, why the heck has it been packaged like this? Has it been something to do with this? Which is a wand. Well, I thought it was a wand, and I was a little bit curious oh, as to why it's like this and not sort of dismantled. And looking at how that sits, this is why. Oh, it's jammed solid. Oh dear. Ah, well, I'll try and get that off, off camera with copious amounts of hot water. Although the hose not being attached to this part is going to be a pain because it's quite difficult, i found, to get this on. You sort of have to heat it up, push it down out the way, put the hose back on, and then slide it back up. So we'll leave that for now. Oh dear. This has gone behind. Oh, hello. So the ones need quite a lot of work. We'll leave those as they are for now. And pull out this, which is a upholstery tool. Assuming it's not genuine, because there's no hoover around, or, and it's got black bristles the original ones had either red bristles or the rubber nobules but you know it's a pretty accurate copy of the hoover legit article so what can you do in here is and if you follow my channel you know that i've unboxed a fair amount of these machines recently none of them have come with a floor tool this has and it's a very good condition floor tool as well. Bit of a polish. All of the rubber nobules have broken off on there, but they do that. That's just one of those things. The brushes are very worn as well, but perfectly passable. Indeed, so the head is good to see. And now we come on to the machine, and it is what I thought it was. I thought they were a bit bigger than that. I was 
rather mistaken, which happens a lot. If I can save some of this, because I'm running out of just scrappy bits of rubber that it's full boxes, if that makes sense. We have ourselves, and I've had one of these before, but oh, well, they're painful when you smack your hand on them. Well, we'll look at the PT plug on this Hoover Constellation that I've just smacked my knuckle on. Nice, age appropriate. The only problem with these I find is that the, the cord grip is nylon and I find that they can crumble, which is a bit of a shame. This is how it was posted. I am frankly astonished that the handle is not completely smashed off. Let's take the hose off. We're going to have to try and get it back onto its wand somehow. Although I think for now I'm just going to take that off and push that on just so we can do This is how it goes on really. It needs a bit of glue and cutting down because the hose has a couple of little tears appearing. But it works, it's an hose. Onto the machine which is an 858, yeah, 858 from 1970. And this, in its orange colour, came along with the yellow and orange celebrities and the Hoover Rangery type coolers from America. So, this is an American constellation that's been Britishified, hence why it's in orange. And it's in pretty good condition. There is a few pits which might polish down on the top. You can't see them from that, from that angle, so that's not bad. But, you know, the rest of it's going to polish up really rather nicely. Indeed. Let's see what the inside looks like. And um, it's completely bare. So, we're not... I'm going to have to buy the bag in a second. We have the rubber bag holder. And that, so that's good. It hasn't got a filter. It's not the worst thing in the world because there are some great little upgrades you can do to these vintage hoovers to get them filtering very nicely indeed. And I should assume that it works. I mean, I have this here. See if it goes bang on up. Not a great, there's a little bit of something. It floats very nicely. Although I can tell that this skirt is bashed a little bit, but if I try and lie the sight it is flat, I think all I've literally got to do is knock, there's a dent here, oh yeah, you can see it there, look. knock that down a little bit. And that should be okay. So what we have here is another just person who's collecting Hoover Constellations. The few that you would have seen, the like jade green one, the rusty pink one, and the yellow celebrity all belong to this same person. Have ourselves another Hoover constellation. Which gives me a bit of a dilemma because you know how these work. I've demonstrated them before. They're, you know, they are what they are. Because I like my videos to be perhaps a little bit longer than this, I thought that I would perhaps show you how to remove the suppressor from one of these because these have the metal explodey suppressors and because they're normally stored on the floor in a shed they do get rather clagged up inside and that degrades the suppressor and they do go bang and there's a huge will it won't it be critical to the machine's operation i'm in the know it's not cam so i'm going to pause get set up with a maybe dirty carpet and we'll take this off and see what the inside is like. You're now at a more appropriate angle for some close-up footage. So we shall take a flathead screwdriver and remove the three screws that hold. They are tiny little screws that, that hold the top to the bottom. We do have the filter, the filter retaining wire. So that's quite handy. Don't have to mess around with cable ties or what not here no 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 
and then this just lifts off very nicely indeed to reveal quite a filthy little motor really what's under here i've never seen them say rtg9 before but this is a genuine motor in excellent condition car the commutator is nice and clean it's full of grit in the bottom but it's not too horrific what we want to get rid of is this and all this does is in fact this cord's been repaired at some point that's not normally there that should go all the way up the live goes to the switch the neutral goes to the motor and it is really simple to bypass one of these in fact you only need to chop the cable one side i just get male crimps and plug them into the other side so i'm going to fetch those now and we'll get snipping with the wires stripped back from their outer sheathing just to give enough space to terminate the wires i shall with my worst pair of wire cutters, because I can't find my decent pair, strip these back. Ooh, one of the cables is cloth covered. That's going to make it more difficult, because this is just going to cut it in a minute. Oh. There we go. They are not good wire strippers at all. We can put a crimp on. Button it up. Do one on the other side. And again, one of the reasons I'm using oh, spade terminals rather than soldering it is A, because this is all going to come apart again anyway. B, you're probably more likely to do this yourself than solder the wires. I might solder them when it's refurbished. I'm not 100% sure yet because there's nothing wrong with this. Really. I mean, I probably want a little bit of heat shrink around it when it's done but for the purposes of testing this I can simply plug them back in doesn't matter where the wires go the motor does not care it just wants live and then a neutral coming back out and with that that can go back on this can go back on and we can test if it works like that absolutely perfect now, i don't know if you heard that whine when i brought the suction up it doesn't sound too bad on the whine down but there is definitely a whine when you brought the suction port up and i think that just means that the bearings need a good oiling so God, that looks really pear-shaped from that angle and i don't know if It's coming out I think it's never going to be perfect because I don't have a rig to sit it on and the only way to get this off is to drill out and re-rivet it on which I don't like doing but you can tell it's been bashed because there is a slight gap there which is going to cause it to not seal properly but it's going to be better fixed because it floats okay with just some silicone around there which we shall see if it works in the after video what we might also do quickly is while we have the screwdriver out just tighten up these handle screws because that's going to be very annoying moving it about with a wobbly handle so another hoover constellation ready to be refurbished and work like new again the next time you see this hopefully the reflection in this orange will be a lot lots better so did you ever have a hoover constellation when you were younger have you got one in your collection now any stories please say in the comments i do love to hear them read them and reply to them and like i say if you do get one of these i do recommend bypassing you can unscrew that suppressor i will do when this is done 
but for now just a simple bypass you've seen them blow on my channel before they stink they can go bang crikey i'm looking at that bottom lip it's ever so dodgy but i think it's going to be okay we'll see what it's like when it's done so that's about all i need to show you today on this thank you very much for watching and i and this will see you soon bye bye